What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to be reviewing the Arteza Everblend brush markers. So if you guys are familiar with the brand Arteza, they carry pretty much any art supply you would ever need to create something. So not too long ago I reviewed Arteza's colored pencils and surprisingly they lived up to my expectations and I still use them to this day. So I guess you can say I'm familiar with Arteza's art supplies but now I'm familiar with their markers. So in case you may or may not know, Arteza just recently came out with their Everblend brush markers. Back then they never used to have a brush tip but now they do because if Arteza already sold brush markers that were water-based markers I had a feeling some point in the future that they're gonna end up making brush markers like Copic markers but since I wasn't familiar with Arteza's markers before making this video I decided to get just a skin tone set just in case they don't live up to my expectations the way the Ahuhu markers did in that one video I wasn't planning on investing in like a 120 set of these markers because for one I don't think they have 120 brush markers available right yet. I believe all they have out is just a 36 set of different variations. There's a portrait set, a gray set, and I think deco tones and tropical tones. At least that's what it is uh, for now. I don't know about any other amounts like 48, 72, or whatever. They only have them in 36 sets. But for this video, I'm going to be reviewing the uh, portrait set. Because since I'm not familiar with Arteza's markers, I figured getting a 36 set. And with the color chart that I saw online, I figured that I can get like a few different skin tone combinations out of these markers so I decided to purchase some myself so I can see if it was actually worth the money so here's what the box looks like here's the back of it same picture not much of a difference so here are all the colors that are in the portrait set I'm gonna swatch them later on in the video so you guys can get a better view of what the inks actually look like so these markers do come in an actual case but the only problem is it kind of looks a little bit cheap however the box does does something great because if you look on the back of this box it'll show you kind of a picture that shows you how you can prop your markers up and still have them in this cool case. I've actually never seen a case just like this, so that's pretty neat. So here's what the brush markers look like. It has sort of a triangular shape, but if you are familiar with Arteza's Everblend marker, it looks just like the white ones without a brush tip. But since I don't have the white ones, I can't really tell if the barrel is going to be a little bit longer because these ones have a brush tip. So here's what the brush tip looks like, and here's what the chisel tip looks like. So I'm not necessarily going to talk about how the brush tip and the chisel tip perform at this point in the video. I'm going to create a drawing, and when I'm making the voiceover, I'll talk about that. Then. But now we're going to talk about the color selection that you get if you buy this portrait set. So the color selection isn't all that bad actually. I got, I pretty much got three or four of the same colors, but the only difference is one of them may be pale and the other may be a little bit desaturated. What I mean by that is if I have one brown, I'll have a lighter brown in that combination and a couple more darker browns that I can actually get a seamless blend out of. And I have pretty much two of those, so that takes up almost a fourth of this entire set. But I'm surprised at how many dark skin tones that they have in this set. I mean, brown. Brown is not hard to come by when it comes to, uh, well I don't want to say cheap markers because these markers were not cheap. So out of this entire set I have two combinations of dark skin tones which I'm able to work with. But I'm not seeing a lot of like light skin tones because I'm only seeing five light skin tones and I'm not counting the pinks because I don't necessarily use pink for a skin tone or whatever. Um, neither are the yellows because I do have like a couple yellows in this set. But with the selection of light skin tones that I have in this set I'm able to work with it. I'm able to blend and make a cool skin tone gradient out of it. It's just not a big wide selection. And also not counting skin tones out of this set I'm actually getting some like parchment browns like the brown you would see on like a brick let's say like a, a light sand brown or maybe like a warm gray with a little bit of brown mixed into it I have a couple of those and I'm okay with having them but I might not end up using that in the drawing because I don't necessarily use it a lot when I'm drawing skin tones or characters or whatever I do have a couple of brick browns which I can substitute for a skin tone if I want to now I do have a I do have two pinks and they're pretty saturated and they look pretty much the same but they're just different labels on them. But again with the pink, if I do tend to use like a pink but I won't use it necessarily for a skin tone unless I'm coloring cheek or maybe something that I'll make in the drawing that can be pink, I'll make it pink. This set also comes with some desaturated pinks which I can use to make like a hair because I have a light and then I have a dark so I can just like make the shine of the hair and then color it the rest of that dark color. And the one color I don't ever use that looks like a skin tone but I could use as a skin tone would be yellow. I don't think I've ever used the yellow for a skin tone but I guess it's just put there because it looks more like a skin tone but you know every artist will have their preference towards uh, 
their color selection in terms of skin tone. Overall, I'm very satisfied with this skin tone set. It's just, it would be better if there were more light skin tones with it so we can make a better gradient out of it. But if Arteta does have any other uh, light skin tones for it, just uh, substitute it in for the yellow. So like I mentioned in the beginning, I'm gonna create a drawing, but there's gonna be something different involved. Since I'm reviewing the skin tones in this set, the drawing that I'm gonna make is gonna consist of mostly skin tones, but there are gonna be some things in the drawing that will not be colored with skin tones. They're gonna be a whole bunch of other different colors. So I'm gonna take the drawing, color the Arteza skin tones first, show you what that looks like, and then after that I'm gonna complete the drawing with the markers that I already have, and that way you'll see a complete finished illustration, basically half of it being Arteza and half of it being Copic. So let's get to it. So these markers actually did better than I had thought. These markers acted like a knockoff of Copic markers because they performed just as well as Copic markers did. Like if you saw the final drawing before watching this video, it'd be hard to tell which brand of marker I used for which part of the drawing. But my main goal of the drawing was to use at least three different skin tone combinations that this set had to offer. I'm not counting the pinks. Nothing I colored uh, used any of the pinks that were in this set. I did use combinations of two markers, like a base tone and a darker tone. And uh, the same with a couple others. I tried using a I tried using a light skin tone, a medium skin tone, and a dark skin tone for this entire drawing. So that was my main goal of this illustration. But honestly, I think Copic met their match here. And I know some of you guys are wondering how the brush tip performed while making this drawing. It performed pretty well. Just if you are getting a set like this and you're trying the markers for the first time, it's not going to be as flexible as you would get if you were to buy Copic markers because the brush tip on any kind of marker actually would be flexible after using it for a long period of time. So it may be stiff when you get it. and that's what my markers were kind of like when I first got these so just if you ha if you do have a stiff brush tip if you do get these markers just you just got to use it over time so it can become really flexible and help you with your blending and the chisel tip felt a bit oddly shaped maybe because I'm used to using the Copic chisel tip that the Arteza ones feel a little bit off because I'm pretty much holding the marker a, a bit differently so I'm coloring with the chisel tip differently so I guess you could say it's the fact that I've been using a Copic marker for a while and I'm used to holding it a certain way it's not Arteza's fault it's just if you do tend on using the chisel tip on these Everblend art markers It just takes some getting used to same with the brush tip like I mentioned before So before I move on to finishing this drawing I'm going to show you what the drawing looks like with just the skin tones So now I'm going to time lapse the rest of the drawing and then come back to you guys at the end of the video So here's what the final drawing looks like. I'm going to flash the skin tone part of it one more time so you guys can see what the skin tones look like before adding the rest of the colors to it. Let me know if you consider purchasing Arteza's Everblend brush markers or even their colored pencils. And definitely tag me on Instagram so I can see what you came up with. But if you did like my drawing or my video, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I got my nigga like Pat Kate.